I want to give a big shout out to the Final Fantasy IX speedrunning community for not letting fear mongering, hatred, and transphobia prevail. You have warmed my heart. I will remember this day for the rest of my life. Oh my god, that sounds really serious. I wonder what this guy is talking about. If you look at the date, it's the same date the Final Fantasy IX Discord decided to go on turbo and non turbo leaderboards. In the Final Fantasy IX speedrun Discord and speedrun.com page, they held a vote whether or not to merge the turbo and traditional any percent leaderboards. Really, this just means removing the any percent leaderboards, which is the main category, and leaving the turbo any percent category as the main one instead. Turbo means you have a third party controller that automatically mashes the X button and other buttons, which allows for perfect and effortless text mash. And it makes some other tricks in the game, like the overworld movement, automatic. So how much time does Turbo save? I timed every overworld movement from the world record and the best Turbo time. On the overworld, the world record lost about 26 seconds to Turbo and 11 seconds on the text mash minigame, which has a luck element. I tried timing text mash cutscenes as well. Unfortunately, I don't have enough free time to time the entire game as it is eight and a half hours, but I did time several sections of the game and I found that in about one minute of active text mash, Turbo saves about one second. So in an 8 hour and 40 minute speed run, if we have roughly 3 hours of active text mash, we could estimate about 3.5 minutes of total time loss. I think the lowest this number could go is about 2 minutes, and the highest is upwards of 6 or 7 minutes, but I think 3.5 is pretty fair. It's also significantly easier to not mash text, and you can get up and take breaks. Keep in mind, I'm using the world record for these comparisons. Average runs are going to lose significantly more time than this. There used to be a separate leaderboard for any percent and also for turbo any percent. People don't like turbo because it makes the run tool assisted on some level. Most speedrunners used to want a speedrun to reflect what was possible for a human to do in speedrunning. Keep in mind for decades turbo has been banned in English, but it is legal in Japanese Final Fantasy speedrunning. So there is some debate and in a 9 hour run who wants to mash text the whole way through. I think this is a reasonable request. And even if there is some debate about whether or not Turbo is lame, if you do like mashing, you can still submit runs to the regular leaderboards. Well, not anymore. For some reason, the Final Fantasy IX community decided to host a vote to merge the categories. Again, since Turbo is strictly faster than non-Turbo, all this does is remove the old category and make Turbo mandatory for competitive times. I really have no idea what the purpose of this was. Running the game with Turbo is a significant difference in terms of time and skill required. For example, at the beginning of disc 4, on a 1 minute and 20 second cutscene, the world record loses 1.6 seconds of mashing to the best turbo time. This really adds up over 9 hours. Secondly, in Final Fantasy IX, on the overworld, there is a trick called stutter stepping. If you don't complete a full step of the character, the game doesn't check for an encounters. Therefore, if you mash a directional input, you can restart your walking animation and skip overworld encounters. This requires skill. Even if you can do it consistently, you'll never be able to do it as fast or seamlessly as a computer. As mentioned earlier, I timed this to be about 26 seconds faster compared to the world record time. You can even get up and leave the game automatically playing during certain text box only phases of the game. Regular players have to sit there and mash. Taking extra breaks like that matters a lot in a 9 hour speedrun. Therefore, merging these two different leaderboards puts non-turbo players at a significant disadvantage. Furthermore, since any run that does not use turbo still counts as a turbo any percent run, you have that the turbo leaderboards are unchanged and the traditional any percent leaderboards are rendered non-existent. Why would they do this? All that was accomplished was the most active and popular category was removed. Let's look at the actual vote. I looked at the poll, it looks like a commanding 51.9% of 54 total responses people voted to merge the leaderboards. That means 28 said yes and 26 said no. So they went through and removed the traditional any percent leaderboards. Are you kidding me? 52% is barely a majority. 54 people is hardly even that many people and definitely doesn't constitute the Final Fantasy IX community and its viewership. This of course is a permanent change to their leaderboards. There are a ton of people that watch and speedrun Final Fantasy IX that did not vote in this poll or even know it existed. But for the sake of argument, let's say this poll does represent the entire spectrum of people who speedrun and contribute to Final Fantasy IX. Are we going to make a major overhaul of the main leaderboard that 48% of the community hates? 
That is totally absurd. This isn't a small decision, and it's something that is hostile to people that don't run this category with Turbo. Why would I run the game without Turbo and get a worse time and make it harder for myself when some other guy just runs Turbo? Personally, I don't like Turbo because I don't like using third-party hardware. In order to run this game optimally, now according to the Final Fantasy IX community, you have to use third-party hardware, so I'm explicitly at a disadvantage. You might think there should also be a non-Turbo category for a minority of people that don't like Turbo. Well, I agree, but they didn't even have an option for this in the vote. Instead, they had an option to take a snapshot of the current leaderboards, but not allow anyone to submit new times. This is totally useless, and it takes no effort to make a second page. You don't need a vote for this, especially when it has existed for the last 15 years. There are 16 different Final Fantasy IX categories on speedrun.com right now. Why can't there just be a 17th tab that bans Turbo? I mean, that was literally the main category for 15 years. Final Fantasy VIII does that, and nobody has a problem. There's clearly a demand for it as well. Your own poll proves that. Isn't 48% a pretty big part of the community? It's also kind of a spit in the face to everyone over the years who didn't run Turbo. They should have just known to run Turbo five years ago and now have a way better time. I also find this ridiculous because this poll is blatantly biased in favor of merging leaderboards. I won't go into all of the problems of why this vote is not fair, as it would take too long. I mean, clearly anyone can see why this is blatantly unfair. But there are even technical reasons the Final Fantasy IX community should not have carried out this poll. There's a classic problem with majority rule called tyranny of the majority. Let's say a 51% of votes, or 52%, like both X and Y, but they like X slightly more, and 49% like Y and they hate X. Well, unfortunately, X wins, but Y would have made more of the community happy, and ultimately would have been a better decision. This is exactly what happened in the Final Fantasy IX community. Instead of finding a solution that everyone can enjoy, due to a tyranny of the majority, we got a solution 52% of people liked and 48% hated. If the vote had gone to the 48% who wanted the leaderboards to remain split, ultimately the Turbo users can still run Turbo and still have a leaderboard that, by the way, is identical to the post-merge leaderboard, and hence everyone is happy. The other obvious problem lies in the moderators. The guy in the tweet was a moderator of the leaderboards and was not allowed to vote in his own poll because of his mantle of responsibility. I agree with this, but it doesn't change much as he clearly has a lot of involvement and influence in the community. And as we'll find out, most of the moderators shared his opinion. And the idea that he had no play in influencing the vote is absurd. I actually think the idea of voting on rules like this is straight up malicious in general. These votes are a popularity contest. Popularity contests work well for things that have term limits or if a decision has to be made promptly. Like what to get for dinner. Not for explicit rules that should be based on reason and have no time limit. I also think voting on speedrun rules is pretty unfair in general because there is even a group of people who decide to even run the vote. If they were to lose the vote, they wouldn't run it. That means they get to choose when to run it, how it's written, what the options are, and because this specific vote required voters to play FF9, the moderators get to see who voted, so it's not a private vote. Many of the moderators are radical woke leftists, and they're even turning this into a radical woke left issue when it's not. I would not want to risk offending them by voting in the wrong direction if I cared about my reputation in the speedrun community. There was also only a 60 hour window to vote, which is certainly not enough time to get a fair snapshot of the community and the viewership. There should have been a whole year to make a vote instead of a 60 hour window, because speedrunning is seasonal and people often come and go over periods of six months. There's also no immediate demand to make this vote in 60 hours. It could wait a year, it would affect nothing. The quip about standing up against hatred and phobia is a bit odd, and I am not sure how Turbo became a partisan issue. Apparently one of the moderators was removed for extreme leftist behavior. Double Drop and Keeper BK, from what I understand, actually stepped down as moderators. Here's another moderator advocating for Turbo, despite saying he will continue to not use it. So I don't want to hear about working hard. Not everyone has the spare time to play video games all day, let alone practice pushing buttons. It's completely within someone's right to not want to mash and be on the main leaderboard, if the option is available. You can still mash if you feel that strongly about it, heck. Even with my lazy mashing, I will continue to not use Turbo. 
while this is probably true, I unfortunately got this second hand and most of the discussion in the Discord has been deleted. Therefore, I don't want to use this as an argument, but a lot of the arguments in this are bad faith arguments, and they're the same bad faith arguments that the rest of the moderators are using. Also, in this note that the runner says he's going to continue not using Turbo, even though he's arguing for a Turbo merge, well, most of the recent runs on the leaderboards also don't use Turbo, which means to me, based on the time difference as well, there is clearly a reason to have a different leaderboard for non-Turbo runs. Here's a screen cap of a mod arguing for Turbo by saying everyone should be on the main leaderboard because mashing doesn't flippin' matter. What are you talking about? It clearly matters. It's way easier and it's so much faster that the times aren't even comparable. Here's another screenshot of a mod arguing that Usain Bolt has a technology advantage over previous track athletes and therefore Turbo should be allowed. Is this guy even serious? This is such a poorly framed argument, I don't even know where to begin. Firstly, Turbo gives a distinct and countable advantage over non-Turbo. A more apt comparison would be if modern track athletes were openly taking steroids and the best track times of steroid users and non-steroid users were merged. Of course, this would be super unfair to everyone who didn't take steroids in the past. Dr. Evan Organtar says there is an advantage to using PEDs. Performance enhancing drugs absolutely give athletes advantages in strength and endurance, which helps them both in the preparation for their sport, as well as the actual implementation of the skills needed uh, in, in many ways for the different sports. A lot of discussion was deleted, so it's hard to say for sure. It seems like this is an issue of ableism and that turbo is more inclusive. This is stupid if true, and I hope it is not the case, but a lot of FF9 mods at the time of this vote, and runners in general, have extreme leftist views, and it is entirely possible that they had this in mind. By the way, I like how they're using the argument of empathy, but they just gave the middle finger to 48% of their community. What's up with that? To better understand the nature of the moderators and how they turned this into a partisan issue, you have to first understand the political climate on Twitch. Eight months ago, I was indefinitely banned on Twitch for hateful conduct. I don't know what this means because Twitch and other left-leaning platforms don't make their terms of service clear and they don't tell you why you get banned. Last week I appealed this and they decided to unban me, which I appreciate, but in the unban letter they told me I did deserve to be banned and they would still unban me anyway. However, they did still did not tell me why I was banned. I have been banned three times on Twitch since 2020. The first time in late 2020 after the infamous Me Too movement in the Smash community and the subsequent oppression Olympics that followed in the speedrunning community, I was hosting a drama stream and I accidentally flashed a user showing the n-word on Twitter. Of course, Twitch doesn't like this word and Twitch is blind to context, so I received a short suspension. The second time in 2021, I said gay in a Twitch chat for some esports broadcast I was watching. I received a three-day ban for this. Yes, just by saying gay in a Twitch chat, I was banned on Twitch, my whole account. I don't mean the chat room, my account was banned. The third time I was banned was eight months ago and why I am making this video. I have no idea why I was banned this time. I didn't say or show any hateful words on stream. I never mentioned anyone by name. I was mostly at that time complaining about the Link to Pass community and the Mega Man leaderboards. I think the reason though had to do with my Twitch tags. Tags on Twitch, much like on YouTube and other platforms, are a way for channels to brand themselves and for users to find related channels under specific tags. However, it's mostly useless feature on Twitch for discovery. Much like everything else on Twitch, if you aren't already succeeding, it pretty much doesn't do anything. Most streamers for this reason just use joke tags to give viewers a laugh and brand their, their stream. For example, using the tag alpha male, I got one extra view on Twitch on a four hour stream. I average about 45 viewers, so I'm not at the bottom of the list. It would be better for discovery if somehow Twitch streamers could see which tags have traction or are actually used. For example, if Twitch tags that were used a lot by streamers were highlighted or had a star next to them, we could use those and it would improve discovery and also start to build a sense of community around those tags. Right now, it's mostly a joke that some people click on because they're curious. Anyway, I changed my tags to describe my political views and sexual orientation because, well, that's what everyone does on Twitch. Seriously, look at some of these tags. So I put exactly who I was, which is alpha male, white male, straight white male, missionary, two genders only, and so on. However, I couldn't use white male. I couldn't even use the color white or say I'm straight. This is ridiculous, especially when you can say you are gay using Twitch tags 
and what, 90% of the population is exclusively straight. I also think that is absurd because I got banned for using the word gay, but for some reason it's okay to use to brand your channel. For the colors, you obviously can't say white. That's a given. But strangely, you also can't say yellow. None of this really makes any sense and is clearly a result of the radical, woke left, convoluted oppression Olympics. I circumvented this by choosing tags with accents. However, a few hours into that stream, which was very mellow, by the way, I received an indefinite ban. I think it was because of the inflammatory and hateful tag, two genders only. I'm kidding, obviously, it's not hateful or inflammatory. Regardless of what kind of science you believe, it's pretty clear half of the country thinks that there are only two genders. So why would this be hate speech? Well, as a lot of you guys know, Twitch is a leftist woke dump. Pretty much everyone on Twitch is a radical liberal or in voids of politics entirely. Of course, there are a lot of normal people and anti-woke people on Twitch, but they don't speak out at all. Even a few jokes is looked down on. I think I'm the only outspoken anti-woke streamer on the whole platform. Definitely in speedrunning. I will give credit to a lot of the silent anti-woke people on Twitch, though, because if you speak out against wokeness, you will lose friends, networking opportunities with other streamers, and access to events and resources, which directly results in a loss of income. For example, in speedrunning, you quickly get blacklisted for most or all speedrun marathons, banned on speedrun.com, and you won't receive any hosts from any other streamers. You are lucky if you don't get banned on Twitch. In fact, the woke speedrunners will also endlessly taunt and jeer you and anyone related to you if you risk aligning yourself with anyone but the radical woke left. This is amplified by the fact that most or all of the communities in speedrunning are run by extreme woke leftists. Remember how Caleb got banned in the Mega Man community? I made a video about this and I still don't know why he got banned. Or Stivity Bobo. This is happening all over the speedrunning scene on Twitch. Remember when I changed my name on speedrun.com to vote Trump 2024? Well, it was a funny joke, but from what I gathered, the Final Fantasy VIII community got mad about that and got the speedrun.com admins to change my name to something else. They didn't even change it to my old speedrun.com account, Real Alpha Gamer. I changed it back recently, but took all my runs off as I didn't want my runs associated with the name they changed it to. I am sure if I was named Vote Biden 2024, I would still be on there though. The short of it is that you can't be aligned with right-wing political views or anti-woke political views in any regard. In fact, you either need to be completely silent about politics, you also have to be accepting of left-wing politics, or completely vocal about left-wing politics in order to fit in in the speedrunning community. This is why there are no anti-woke speedrunners besides me. Of course, since I was already banned three times on Twitch, I decided to circumvent this by becoming the most woke streamer on Twitch. Since woke people don't understand sargasm, I now can't get banned and should be allowed back on the speedrunner.com, and hopefully I can vote in some future speedrunning polls for whatever unnecessary and arbitrary rule changes there are. Um, I'm not, I don't have a lot else to say. The Serpent God awaits us. Free Palestine. I think a better solution for the Final Fantasy IX Discord would be to promote Turbo by actually using Turbo and explain to viewers that it is a lot more accessible and friendly to newer runners, and therefore it's more competitive instead of forcing a vote and then vilifying 50% of your community. Alternatively, the mods could have moved the turbo leaderboard to the main page, migrated the non-turbo runs to the leaderboard, since they qualify anyway, and then left the traditional leaderboard on a secondary page. That way, new runners would see that turbo is more competitive, and then put more favor into turbo as a category. And people who don't want to use turbo can continue to not use turbo and not feel ostracized. Of course, this isn't about turbo, this is about control and vilifying people who are different than you. That's what all radical left-wing politics are about. Personally, I think turbo is fine and it should be promoted more. More runners will play the game if turbo is destigmatized, which is good for the community. But instead, the woke mob that manages FF9 did the opposite and created an even wider divide between the turbo and non-turbo users. This is the exact opposite effect the mods were trying to make. FF9 has been more or less dead since this vote went through, and it puts non-turbo runners in a weird state where they will be competing against each other separately but on the same leaderboard as turbo users. Imagine getting world record and then having to repeatedly explain to viewers why you are 5th or 6th place on the leaderboard instead of 1st place. That doesn't help anyone and definitely doesn't help grow the scene. I think the real solution if you are a speedrunner or regular person and have to deal with this tyrannical woke leaders is to exercise regularly, eat healthy, quit consuming porn, and go get some sunlight. These things are fairly obvious and will improve your day-to-day -day life. That's what the woke mob doesn't have and they don't want you to have. They live unhealthy and unhappy lives 
and try to force results to justify their woke opinions, instead of developing genuine opinions and then letting outcomes unfold. Anyways, thanks for watching my video. I hope to do more videos like this in the future. I think there's a really serious wokeness problem on Twitch. If you are against wokeness like me, consider giving me a follow on Twitch if you use it. Also, follow me on Discord here on YouTube and consider subscribing to my Patreon if you support my content. Also, when you subscribe, you become an alpha gamer. I'll see you guys in the next video.